Thank you for watching my channel. Please subscribe and like. Now back to the news. A Colorado mom is hoping to finally discover how her two-year-old son nearly died allegedly at the hands of a drunken unlicensed childminder who has just been arrested. Stephanie Reichert left baby Giovanni with McKinley Sloan Hernandez, 25, for an overnight stay at her home in Lakewood on September 1st. Hours later her son was fighting for his life with blunt force trauma injuries to his head and body, and she received a chilling instruction from her friend. I received a text message from the suspect saying I needed to rush to St. Anthony's Hospital because my son had gone lifeless after a bath, she said. Once I saw him and all the 50 doctors standing around him, I had to leave the room because it was the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. The little boy had been airlifted to hospital and needed an emergency operation for a bleed on the brain that required part of his skull to be removed. He was intubated and placed into an induced coma and has required more life-saving operations since, with his eventual prognosis still unclear. We had a rough Thanksgiving this year to say the least. His mother wrote on the child's Goffin page. He had more had surgery on Thursday and is still suffering from a fever, pain and discomfort, she explained. He's pretty swollen, and his right eye is swollen shut, she wrote. He slept most of the day, and I'm hoping for a better day tomorrow. But the distraught mother is still no near top finding out how Giovanni came to be battered to within an inch of his life, in the care of a woman she considered a friend. She won't admit to anything Reicher told KDVR.com. All she said is she was drinking, and he got hurt in her care. I make up scenarios in my head all the time for the injuries he sustained, so I wish I knew. And she fears the months in hospital may now be taking their own toll on her son. He doesn't like strangers, she added. Now he doesn't like the nurses and the doctors. He doesn't let anybody touch him. We have to do everything for them in there. In the Goffin, set up by a friend, Giovanna is a previously happy, healthy, energetic two-year-old. As you can imagine, his parents Anthony and Stephanie are completely distraught as ads. We don't want the sweet family to have to worry about anything other than getting their baby boy healthy again. Giovanna, you are so resilient and so strong, keep fighting baby boy. We love you so much. But the family received some good news over Thanksgiving when a warrant was issued for Hernandez's arrest on felony child abuse charges, and she handed herself into Lakewood Police on Thursday night. I feel so relieved, but I also feel like she should be charged with more, she said.